What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up guys, uh, it's Tom Diesel here. Welcome to another video. Um, I think this one is long overdue. Um, I promise to do a recap on this trade, like sometimes uh, last week, but this week, you know, I got really caught up with my family uh, emergency, so I couldn't do it. So I hope you guys could understand, but uh, I think this, uh, Trade is, I mean, it's very important in my opinion. On that day, CODX uh, and APT, um, the first red day, right? And uh, I think that day could have been my biggest, you know, trade ever, you know, since um, I was trading and I had my full size on that. You know, it, it was really a stressful day for me and I believe you know for most of us as well like most of us uh, did very well on that day especially Alex uh, you know James and I know all you guys uh, you know done a great job as well because uh, that's our you know uh, strategy right that's what MIC has been teaching you or like uh, me you know for a while now first red day set up so I just want to go ahead and pull that out for you yeah so um, I will talk uh you know over this as i think is a pretty you know key lessons here that you can take from and uh, which you know it could happen to any of us at any point so here is the the chart for codx this is my entries and you know on coronavirus we all know that right a sector play it's been quite hectic that week for me like for most of us you know when i think some of the best trader that i've seen you know blow up as well so it was really hard if you anticipate and try to guess the front side or like trying to get guess the top you see like uh it had a you know big wash here but then reclaim right made higher the next day gap up more high and then slam right here right trap all the shorts things is over one more run all the way up here 26 and and you know and same same with a with apt as well I'm, I'm not gonna go over this so from those days uh i didn't i mean i i scalp you know here and there but it wasn't much of a you know a big difference that uh you know for me to talk about but the day i mean the day really got me interested is the first red day same with you know alex been talking about and basically we waiting for that that type of day and we waiting for that moment i mean i've, I've been patient uh, for a few days now just waiting for that moment just waiting for that day because that's my edge right there because uh, what else do i have right i mean shorting you know guessing the top here and there and, you know it's not gonna the trend is still intact you could, could short and long here but you know it's only scalp i mean even long is scary when you long right up here and then the stock could you know dumped you know to your face right and next thing uh, you think it's over you short here you know pop up to squeeze you you know just it's just really a headache there's no clear directions i mean it isn't you know big like following your trend but the thing is you don't know when to get in right that's the hardest part and also it was like moving really crazy unless you want to use small size you know like tiny ass size then then that's fine but you cannot really size up into something like this because uh, you know it you could you know if you wrong you could blow up the account right right away i mean all it takes here i think a lot of people blowing up you know from those three days look at that i mean it went from four to 26 i mean who would have guessed that i mean there's no way that you can you know long here and, and maybe sell all the way up here maybe mama tay but <laughs> Not us, right? Uh, we, I'm, I'm not good with long, but yeah. So uh, the point I'm trying to make here is that there's no way you can 
have a big size on any of that. There's no there's no clear move. Or it's like uh, no, not the real setup I want to focus on. And uh, so I was waiting basically for the first red A for, for me to get my size on. So in the morning, I was hoping, uh, as you can see here, I was, uh, you know, patiently waiting for this, you know, pops to 21, 22. Uh, I didn't even bother, you know, looking at that. And, you know, when it dips and, you know, reclaim here and, you know, and higher and higher. Let me pull up the chart here at this move. You can see yeah, right here, right? So I was um, thinking about that day is that once it reclaim view app here, I think around zombie time as well. Yeah, 1030 is around right here. I mean, if the stock reclaim here, right, that could easily, you know, going, you know, much higher, but it's like instead of like hooving around view app and then stuff here, you know, trying to push, couldn't push. So I had my starter right here and the stop would be overview app. Of course, I think it was like 19. 0.5 for all those starter 30% on the front size why right? and you know that was I, I was this yes I was anticipating for the first red day move so wanted to have this one is like a you know low highs right I was pretty confident in, in this one like so that's why after this one here put a low high you know, try to push here and fell I added some more here and when it slammed I added more as you can see all the ads that I'm, I'm, I'm doing here and yeah, and the the red, the first, um, the green to red move was uh, 1547, I believe that was the line. So you can see here, I add a bunch here. So this is, you know, after right, I'll add everything here. Yeah, you can see I add everything here. And basically that was my full size. And uh, right after that, it's like uh, I had to cover, I mean, but it's like, I think like I was kind of emotionally too because I had too much size on and the line was somewhere around 1170 or like 12 line. I, I should have, you know, wait for that. I mean, that, that was my plan from the morning. It's like, well, one this cracks is like the next line would be anyway, like 12 line. But instead, you know, I slammed the bit here. I slammed bunch here. I mean, I basically slammed everything I could just to be able to get in. And I think that I think causes me to kind of deviate from my plan because I had just too much size on it. So I really couldn't focus because I knew like if it's, you know, right, broke this line and the stock was down here. I knew at this one, I, I didn't even have to look at my PL, but I knew I was up a bunch. Like, you know, I, I was up really a lot. So it kind of, uh, you know, hard to know that, you know, you up so much now and I just have to kind of, you know, cover everything here. But, uh, you know, if I follow my plan, I, if, if, if I follow my plan, uh, since in the morning and, you know, I, it could be much more higher or like the bigger the profit. All right, guys, uh, stay safe and, uh, I see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.